So with the new strategy, double jungle, yeah, that's going to be the name, double jungle, right? So went really well. Everything went according to plan, right? We got every single dragon. Over time, over time, our bot lane, which was Ash, solo, right? Outscaled the bot lane and was able to, they basically murdered bot lane every time, well, I'm not like super ganker, I'm not a jungler, so I don't know how to gank really well, but every time Rengar would come in, they would murder the bot lane, absolutely murder. So you see the benefit, right? Ash, although she's low, like, and she was able to kind of farm up, she was able to basically farm almost on par with the enemy ADC, right? I was able to kill this guy a couple of times. I think I killed him twice in his own jungle, right? So my uh, past that point, once you kill him in his jungle, right? You can then start jungler inside of his jungle, right? So Rengar had kind of, he was able to do his basic jungling and I was able to jungle in the Kane's jungle, right? But, I have to say, uh, well, bottom line, we got all the objectives. My, my team became so strong, they were able to 4v5 them. No problem. Well, not 4v5, because this guy AFK'd. So they were able to, like, they were just slaughtering them. Absolutely murdering them. Right? Now, another benefit I see of this strategy is that plebs, right? I'm talking about overall League of Legends players, they're plebs, right? They love to fight. They just want to aram it in the mid. So, as a jungling support, you can you I feel you are free to take any objective. Now this applies to these guys as well. So you see, I just took um, Bloodthirster and I went and I took. Well, my plan was to take the Baron, but my team responded and they helped me take the Baron. But I would have no problem was able to take the Baron myself. I then went to uh, took two dragons myself, right? It works. I'm telling you, it works. Now, this is peace low, elo. I mean, this is like iron bronze, MMR. So, I'm just experimenting. Like, the problem I'm having is I cannot think like a jungler. You see, that's my problem right now. Is uh, I need to learn how to think like a jungler. But so far, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Right? But I have to say, jungler is a overpowered role, hundred percent OP, right? Because look, even though this guy died twice, I was, I was still in his farm. He still ended up with a decent amount of uh, gold. That's because. Um, that's because, and also assists in the game are very powerful. Because look at my score, eight zero zero, right? And I, what, I'm 2,000 gold ahead of him, right? And he is like 6, 10, 7 because he has 7 assists. Look at how far he's behind on minions. I mean, look, look, like, I mean, more than 100, 105 he's behind. And there is only 2,000 difference. You see what I'm saying is when I'm saying that minion farming is useless. It's all about the objectives. And KDA and, like, assists, it's basically a RAM. The game right now is a RAM. Okay, so it's very important to basically participate in team fights, uh, get the objectives and all that shit, right? So farming is irrelevant. So as a support, I take the farming myself. That's how I earn gold, right? And I also knock out their jungler. So he he go he he gets like basically the with this strategy, you have two junglers, right? So you always the objectives are always yours always yours right and the enemy has no jungle so you the problem so so for example top lane if your top lane is better he's gonna murder right he's just gonna murder the other top laner which happened in this game right and you as a dominant jungler secondary jungle i'm talking about um you can gank other lanes for free right think about it there's basically two junglers running around so the top lane and solo lanes can never can never overextend because you can imagine all of a sudden you have Trindamir and Rengar and Akali, 
attacking you, <laughs> right? So it, it becomes very difficult to lane because they constantly have to be aware of where is where are the both junglers, right? And his jungler cannot help him because he's dying all the time in his jungle, right? So I'm telling you, this meta is much better, much better. Now, I got the idea, I got this idea from basically, I noticed that um, farming became irrelevant, like fundamentals of League of Legends became irrelevant, right? And I thought to myself, okay, game is like a RAM right now, so how can you make the game unfair? And that's how I made it unfair. I go and I kill their jungler, right? So now their jungler is behind, and the enemy is playing four versus five with fear that they cannot overextend because two junglers can just jump on them, right? And we have to factor in that we get all the object objectives. It's unfair. This, this is unfair strategy. I'm going to keep going. Take care.